Hello YouTube, and welcome to my Minecraft series I'm starting. I'm playing Project Ozone 3, and as you can see I'm on a sky block. It's very, very spooky. Um, I've decided I'm trying to play hardcore, so I've got one life, and I certainly hope I don't fall. And other than that, I'm just gonna, I guess, try to go through the quest book. Let's see what's here. Well, first of all, before I even bother with the quest book, I should probably try and get a couple things started here. I know I need to go down and get that wood. I also don't want to destroy all the grass here. So I'll just collect some of this stuff. Oh, and not accidentally fall in the water to my doom. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to accomplish with this, I just felt like playing some video games. Maybe somebody wants to watch along as I make a fool of myself. I don't know how long this is going to last. Presuming if I die, I'm not going to keep going because I'd have to start over. Now if I remember correctly... Ah yes. If you look at dirt and right click, you can pick up tiny stones. And if you do this long enough... You can get a pile of them, which you can then turn into cobblestone. So that's not so bad. It means I can start to expand this platform out a little bit. Because let me tell you, I am terrified of falling off. Definitely holding down the button that makes me stick to the edge. See, I can't fall off now, but if my finger just briefly loses its grip, I'm doomed. I also have to remember, don't destroy this grass block, because you only get what you've got started here. You can get seeds eventually, but... So... Oh good, the grass is spreading. I'm gonna leave just around the water, I guess means I actually can get rid of this one, because it can spread from those other two. Uh, first things first. Oh, you have to crouch, and then and then you can pick up these stones. For some reason, a single block of dirt has unlimited stones. Um, not really sure how long each session, session is going to be. I'm intending on doing very little editing of any of this stuff, because I'm mostly just doing it for fun. Haven't been having fun lately. Uh, as to why anyone would want to watch this, who knows? Maybe I'll be amusing. I'm assuming as things progress, I'm going to get progressively more afraid of losing everything. I'm a very conservative player when it comes to Minecraft. And, well, the other thing is, I guess i got to worry about food, because if I starve to death, that's also game over. Um, right now, though... Let's do that. I've got 39 cobblestone. Oh, I'm still so afraid of falling. Come on, can I click down there? No, I've actually got to go down. Well, if I go down to here... There we go. I guess the other thing I have to worry about is once this gets a little bit bigger, you can see things can start spawning. Not super worried at the moment, if only because it's a small platform, it's not nighttime yet. But ideally, I should get some of this living root because you can change it into saplings somehow, I think. I'm just so afraid I'm going to be losing some. Okay, so now that I've got that, let's go this. Oh. How long is that going to take to break? A while. Alright, well, it's kind of in the way. Because I want to get torches out as soon as I can. Which means I need to be growing a tree as soon as I can. Oh, 
again. There we go. All right, let's make myself a little staircase right on the edge of catastrophe. Now, what do I want to do here? Do I want to I kind of want to leave this alone so I don't mess up? I can tell this is going to be super exciting to watch. I can pretend it's like a beat. At some point, this is probably going to become more tutorial-like, because I, I know I've had trouble. I've played Project Ozone 3 a little bit before, and some parts are confusing when you're trying to do the quests, and you're just not quite sure how some of the mods work. So I've done a bunch of those, but I uh, kind of wanted to start over, because everything was lagging. I hadn't really planned things out very well. We'll see what happens with this one. I'm hoping because people might be watching me, I'm going to not be quite so bad at it. Try and make things look a little bit better. So I think what I might do is try and make a little platform to grow some trees away from this main platform, because I've got 14 dirt. Might as well make it as low down as possible. So I'll just extend this out. Don't want to go too far because I really need to get some torches ready. Hoping I've got enough of that living root, living whatever it was. Sure, this, this seems far enough. Put that there. Expand out a little so that I don't end up losing any of the stuff I try and harvest from said tree. That was one further than I wanted it, but you know what? That's fine, because I should probably do two anyways. And now, let's see what I can actually do with this. Do I just... Oh, there we go. I've got two saplings. Now, if I recall correctly, yeah, just... Spamming the, the crouch key makes this happen. So now I'm going to have some wood, which is good. Because that means I can start making tools soon. Now, good. I got a bunch of saplings out of that. Eventually, I'm going to want, you know, to maybe get like an apple tree or something going, or basically some kind of reliable food source. I think in my last playthrough I just, for the first half of the game, was eating apples. Okay, so I can make a crafting bench now. Done. Crafting bench can just go there out of the way for now. What did I want to do with that? I want to make a furnace and some wood and some sticks. And I'm going to need some more wood. So do that. It's going to be so much more fun when I'm not just punching things with my fists. Ugh. It's always kind of tedious starting these skyblock things because you can't just run around harvesting. Oh, an apple. Sorry, I got excited there. Oh, oh no, that sun is going down. Okay, we need to expedite things. Put you there. I want some charcoal. Uh, sure, I'll just burn some wood. Because the moment I get one charcoal, I can make four torches. And hopefully light this place up before something spawns and knocks me off. So we will make torches. F7 to see where things are. Good. Good. I guess things are light enough there. Does that take care of it? 
think I've lit up everywhere. Don't think anything's going to spawn here, but I do have like a little nook there. All right. So crisis number one averted. Let's stockpile a little bit of stuff and then I can make some tools. Because yeah, punching stuff gets old fast. And once you get the tools, you can use tinkers and things will level up get better. I don't think anything spawns on top of trees. I know it used to, but it was probably like a couple of versions ago. Oh yeah, the apple that I was so excited about. You can do things with these. I think you can make an apple sapling? Come on, did I miss that? Oh, I need three apples for that to happen. Okay, well, I did say I wanted to gather some, oops, gather some more resources, so. I think after this one, though, I'm going to make the tools. I'm not starving to death yet. I've still got quite a few shanks of hunger, so that's good. Sorry if this is a bit tedious. It's the Canadian in me showing through. I have to apologize. No, I was hoping more apples were going to drop. They're kind of rare, hence needing the apple sapling. But let's make a little bit of an extension to this platform. Oh, I still hate the edge being like right there. Now, oh, I don't remember if I have F7 on or not to show where things can spawn. Either way, I pressed it and everything seems to be fine. So now I should probably make some tool bench things. So doing some of this from memory, I don't want to have to look everything up. Got some of that, so that's good. And I think, there we go, so a part builder. I need a stencil table too. How does one make a stencil table? Probably like that? Stencil. All right, I'm probably gonna need, just need more wood. I should stop trying to keep all the logs. Although now that I'm thinking about it. No, I didn't even have enough to make a second piece of charcoal. So, I think one charcoal can do eight logs. So basically, all the logs I've got. Don't remember if... Well, I'm probably going to end up needing more logs, obviously, but... Let's just get things started here. Stencil table can go there. Part builder. I need to... A crafting bench. Don't know if it needs to be the special one. It does not. Tool station. Oh, I guess I need to make a chest as well. Got plenty of wood. Plenty being relative. I want a place to keep my patterns. Can I just stick it down in there? Yeah, let's let's deliberately go right by the edge. That's gonna that's gonna be fun. Alright. Everything still looks good. Oh, I've got like a little magical thing up there. I'm assuming this just starts with the map, and I probably shouldn't hit it just to see what happens. Okay. So what do I want to do next? Do I have... I guarantee I'm not going to have enough wood. It never seems to work out that way. This is so much easier than when you used to have to wait for it to grow naturally. That that was the tedious part. I know I said that already this was tedious, but things used to be different. Back in my day... Hopefully this is all recording properly, too. Haven't recorded anything in a long time, especially gameplay. 
Oh, I saw an apple. I've got two now. One more, and I can have a semi-reliable food source. Maybe while I'm thinking about it, I'll collect another handful of stones. Do -do 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 -do. Like, I can understand they're doing this so you just don't have unlimited cobblestone, but it is so tedious. I guess if I click, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It goes faster, but uh, I don't want to break my mouse just doing that. Uh, that should be enough cobblestone to tide me over for a little while. Yeah, 30 is fine. Um, I want more more blank patterns, so... Oh, so I'm going to need more sticks. And I'm going to need more wood. And then I'm going to need more wood after that to like actually build some things. So let's not use it all up. So first things first, put those in there. I'm going to go with the good old basics. I want an axe, I want a shovel, and I want a pickaxe. I don't think I necessarily can build anything else right now. So I'm going to need a tool rod. I think they require a binding pattern. I'll probably just make everything out of wood just to simplify things. Although, again, I don't know if I'm going to have enough wood, so... Honest, this, this will be the last one that I punch down, I hope. I know I have enough to at least make an axe, so I guess technically I could have done that already. Could be shaving seconds off of my time. Oh! Oh yeah, yeah! Now I remember. If I want to increase, like, getting apples and saplings and stuff, I need to make a crook for the trees. And then hit the leaves with it. I think that gives you more apples. It also helps you acquire string and the like. Okay, so I've got all that. Can I just throw these things in there? Yep. I need to make parts. So... Oh. I guess those things need to be side by side to work. Alright. Hold on. Let's hope I don't lose things. I really should make this out one more, but... So what if I put the stencil table there, and the pattern chest here? Okay, so I can still access it even though I can't see it. Good enough. And now I have these, so... One of those. One of those. Definitely one of those. One, two, three... I think they all require one of these? I guess I'll find out if I've wasted some time. I should probably get just a regular chest going soon, too. Alright, let's put some stuff together. I'll start with the axe. Ta-da! Shovel. And pickaxe. And what is this? Can I make a crook? Oh, you can make a crook. Interesting. I don't think I knew that. I was just using the good old manual ones. Anyway, so what do I need to make a crook? I need four tool rods. Well, that's that's achievable. One, two, three, four. And here we go. Interesting. Durability 75. I don't know what a regular crook's durability is, but this is at least repairable and it'll level up, so that's good. All right, now it's time to chop down a tree in style. Perfect. Gonna take you. Gonna take you. Uh, now I do have Vein Miner. I don't remember what key I bound it to. Not that key. Not that key. Not that key. I do not remember. Nope. 
Huh. Well, you guys get to see this stuff. Oh, now, what is it called? It's not called Vein Miner anymore. It's called something else. No. I don't even know if I'm going to recognize it when I see it. There's a lot of mods in this. Extra planets. No, it's, it's like or something. R menu. What? <laughs> I have no idea what key that is. But I must have changed it to that at some point. What would that even be? Um, let's just give it a different key. Return. Oh, well, return's used for something. So what is return used for? Oh. Oh, I do like having hover mode being return. Okay, well, how about... Backspace? Okay, show all, show conflicts. Previously viewed recipe. Okay, I do not care about that. So you can become W. Good, done. Now let's see if this works. Hold down backspace. Ah, oh, amazing. And did you see that? I've got my third apple. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Um, cut this down all at once. I guess technically I could have been vein mining even before having the axe. And I should probably make another little platform to have my apple tree on so I can actually collect some apples. You know what that means? It's time to rock, and really it's just time to rock. Got 30 cobblestone, which is probably enough, but I hate getting out there and then realizing, oh, I need more. That should probably be fine, though. Got some of that going, which is good. We'll do eight more. I do want some more torches. I shall need them. I need the dirt. You can become more cobblestone. So can you. I really should do that chest thing I kept talking about. All right. Just got a bunch of stuff, and it's just going to keep cluttering. Like I don't need all of these books just yet. Well, I have this little cubby here, so why don't I make that a storage one? <clears throat> Pardon me. You can go in. I uh, probably don't need you for a while. Uh, you're fine. I kind of want everything else. I don't think I can do any... Why am I level 52? Like, how did that happen? Power stare. Push away entities you're looking at. Well, okay. I mean, if something spawns and it's scary, that might help. I wish I had something better, like... You can fly! I should repair my... well, no. One thing at a time. I always get confused and overwhelmed because there's so much stuff to do. Definitely hold down the shift key. Okay, so I still have the F7 button on. Where's the sun? The sun is gone. Don't, oh, I can just look at the time. It's 10.30, daytime, so that's fine. Nothing should be spawning yet. Because I don't want to, like, look up here and have a creeper or basically anything. Normally I play on peaceful, so this is extra unnerving for me. Okay. So do I want to, uh, probably want to make it more than a 3x3. Three three, probably like a 5x5. Five So just one more around. 
definitely out of practice. Talking and playing at the same time. It's not something I've done in a while. Now for my crowning achievement of this session. Ta-da! I think... Yeah, I can just click them and then they regenerate now. Oh, well that's, that's a little funny. I can do the, the, the twerking thing to make them grow incredibly fast. Okay, so food is sorted. Put that there. Put that there. Well. Oh. Sorry, Apple. You're not important anymore. I have unlimited. Alright, so when I start getting hungry, I've got apples. They're not super great, but I think there's easy ways to turn them into, like, much better things. Like, oh. <laughs> like, cook them! That, that actually increases it a lot. I guess it costs charcoal, which isn't fun. Can make a can of food. Not that I've got tin or anything. Uh, that's not happening. I can chop them into a fruit salad, but it's much better just to make the cooked apples, I guess. Fruit bait? It's been a while since I've looked through all this stuff. Can't eat the tree. Alright, so... Let me think about things while I collect some of this stuff. Like, what do I want to do next? Like, am I ready to look at the quest book and actually try to do some quests, or do I want to try and get a little bit of industry going? Normally I start off with Ender I.O. or Thermal Dynamics, Thermal whatever, you know, the thermal stuff. Just to get some basic industry going. Um, you know, try and make some solar panels or something to collect some energy. I believe things are a bit harder in Project Ozone 3. Like, a lot of stuff is gated off behind other stuff, so it kind of forces you to actually use a bunch of the different mods, which is both nice and frustrating when you know what you're doing. Anyways, while I collect this stuff, why don't we call it a day? And uh, when I come back... I'll hopefully have a couple stacks of stone, and we can try and do something more interesting than, you know, this. Although the apples, the apples were a big thing. Anyways, so I will see you next time.